what can we expect once the session begins in January 2023 so session is going to start obviously at the top of January and basically what you can expect is till April most of the legislators whether they're assembly people sen senators they are just going to talk about the budget you bring it you bring your health that up to them they're going to be like oh my god this is so this is kind of you know too big we are just uh, talking about the budget so after April to June is kind of the window where the lobbying for such bills really really uh, heats up so I would I will let you do whatever you think is best with this information but it is something that you should kind of keep in mind before this uh, session starts. I think there is a workaround uh, to this, you know, I, the health and the lives of our people cannot wait till the discussions about the budget are over. This is a very urgent issue and uh, the more people uh, that, are, that are on board the better chance we have of pushing this into their legislative agenda regardless of what what is of you know the the biggest priority um obviously you as i said the the things that are listed in the previous question like what is the best way you can make progress before the session starts or when the session is not in progress you can do all those things you can lobby you can tweet you can call you can email you can canvas you can lobby you can make you can you know be a part of panels that educate the public you can do all of that you're fully within your rights to also call and uh, email and book a meeting with your senator because they are obligated to work for you um and also link some powerful testimonies because as the, when the session is ongoing um the campaign for new york health that pnhp actually helpfully uh host these lobby days where uh people from our organizations actually go into the new york uh, state legislator le legislature and give very very powerful testimonies one Thank testimony can watching. point out to is called denoyers uh he talked about his son danny and how uh just a bill of twenty dollars cost him his whole son so i think we uh viewing those testimonies and understanding what's going on is also important when it comes to educating yourself plus also you can share them so that so that the people in your circle are also educated about what's going on in new york state 